Some 70% of executives in large companies say that data is one of their most important corporate assets. Yet as few as 40% actually make proper use of that information and use it to drive competitive advantage. One of the companies that's been trying to help them change this for about 15 years now is Informatica. Joining me now from the company is Chief Executive Officer Sohei Babasi. Sohei, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us. It's great to be here. You've recently announced a new version of your software that you describe as a comprehensive, unified, and open platform for data integration. What does that mean in practice? In the past, our customers had to deal with technology component parts from a variety of vendors. And it was a very cumbersome process, a very risk, uh, uh, risky process of putting all that technology together. Because in reality, what the customers need is data integration to integrate all the silos of data within the enterprise. Why do you think that companies don't make more use of their data assets, and what can they do to improve that? It is remarkable that over 70%, as, as you pointed out, of the executives regard data as one of their most valuable corporate assets, and yet only 40% of them you, uh, believe that they're effectively using it for competitive advantage. The reason for the value gap was very simply timeliness of the information, accuracy of the information, and just being able to access all that information. Those are the hurdles that they, the organizations have to go through. With Informatica 8.6, we deliver all of the capabilities required in order to close the value gap. How important is it that you work independently of the various enterprise software vendors? In our conversations with our customers, we find that the customers have made a lot of investments over the last 20, 30 years. There's a legacy of mainframe uh, sources, mainframe uh, systems, IMS, IDMS, Atabas, vSAN files, just to name a few. And there are very few organizations, large organizations, that only have one modern database. Typically, they'll have Oracle, IBM, Microsoft. And of course, 90 or, uh, percent of the data is not even in any of the sources I mentioned. In fact, it's unstructured, uh, unstructured uh, formats. Microsoft being, uh, Office being one of the more popular ones, but it's also in Adobe PDF and a variety of other formats. All the vendors uh, that offer data integration technology, other vendors offer, have an agenda of promoting one database over another, or one application over another. And the customers would like to leverage all of the data that they've got. All the data matters. The planning data matters that's stored in non-structured and all the operational data matters that is stored in all these structured uh, formats. And our customers rely on Informatica to provide them near universal access. Our neutrality and our independence assures our customers that they can leverage all their data. And they're concerned about data lock-ins, aren't they? They certainly are. As a result of the recent consolidation that we've observed in our industry, in the mature section of our industry, there are a lot of questions. A lot of questions whether Cognos, as an example, Will, will promote Oracle as an alternative to IBM DB2? Or will business objects acquisition by SAP allow business objects to promote Oracle applications as an alternative to SAP? And that, that raises a lot of questions in the minds of the IT organizations whether or not they will be locked out of their valuable data. You're making quite a big play at Informatica about cloud computing. Why do you think that's important? Our industry is going through the early stages of a platform shift. Now, whenever a platform shift occurs, it is extremely disruptive. It, is, it, uh, it uh, can result in an insurmountable advantage for the early adopters, and there would be a heavy price for those that are the laggards. And I'll give you an example. The last time our industry saw such a platform shift was when Computing went from mainframe or host-based computing to client-server. No one uses Lotus 1, 2, 3 anymore. No one uses uh, WordPerfect anymore. So whenever there is a platform shift, there's a huge disruption. And we believe that there is something that is going on today, which is the platform is, uh, is shifting from on-premise to cloud computing. The value proposition is incredibly compelling. There is no hardware required. There's no software required. And most of all, there's no labor required to administer all of it. So th for all those reasons, we're seeing applications like HR, like CRM, that previously were installed, now are, are available as services, as a software services, cloud computing. And 
in our industry, there's, uh, uh, there's much talk about uh, the trend of consumerization of enterprise software. And that simply means that enterprise software should be just as simple to access and just as simple to use as Amazon.com and Google. Aren't software as a service companies still something of a bit player when it comes to the enterprise? Whenever a platform shift uh, occurs, you end up bit, uh, with bit uh, players, as you, as you put it, that grow at a phenomenal pace to catch up and in a lot of cases overtake uh, the incumbents. We, uh, we, we clearly saw that when computing moved from a host base to client server. And there are reasons to believe that there will be such a similar shift. If you look at the growth rates being reported by some of the cloud computing vendors or software as a service companies, they are very impressive. So it may start off as a, as a, uh, as a, a small experiment, but very slowly cloud computing is becoming very much a fabric of what our organizations use. In fact, at our own conference, more than half of the participants, and these represent 3,200 of the world's largest organizations, the majority of them are using some form of cloud computing, some software as a service. So we're beginning to see wide adoption. But it, as you correctly point out, it is an early stage. And one of the key hurdles to move to cloud computing is what is the on-ramp to cloud computing? How do you ensure that the data that you've collected on your on-premise, you will continue to actually uh, uh, leverage that when you move to cloud computing? And that is another significance of we, what we announced is Informatica uniquely delivers data integration as, as a software as a service. Do you believe that more companies will need to integrate their data with both on-premise and off-premise software? There is no doubt that most organizations, almost everyone, would have to deal with information that is hosted on-premise, along with uh, information that is made available to them by cloud computing vendors or software as a service vendors. We have about 24 or so uh, partners, cloud computing uh, vendors, including Salesforce.com, including a, a number of other ones right now, uh, 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 exactly, and a number of other ones. And we're beginning to see that all of our customers are beginning to realize that in order for them to gain a holistic view across their entire enterprise, they have to integrate the data that, is in, uh, that lives in the cloud along with the data that is on-premise. Another area you've been working on at Informatica is B2B data exchanges. Why are those growing in importance? The promise of EDI was never realized. As, as you may re recall, that there was a lot of uh, talk many, uh, many, many years ago about how EDI was going to allow partners to connect with one another and exchange information. And a number of organizations tried it and failed. Our technology, Informatica, we announced our new product called B2B Data Exchange, very specifically aimed at enabling organizations to share critical information with their business partners. And it is becoming very important for organizations not only to leverage the data that they've got on premise or that is being managed by cloud computing uh, vendors on their behalf, but increasingly to look at the supply chain and, uh, and ensure that they could optimize the entire supply chain. So, hope thank you very much.